So you've started a fresh world on Valheim. You begin by foraging wild berries, butcher some of the local hostile boars, give hunt to the majestic deer of the meadows, gather the local fungi for sustenance. The list goes on and on. Before long, your inventory is overflowing with goodies to get yourself started, and your thoughts begin to wander to what sort of dwelling you would establish for shelter and storage. Well, lucky for you, I've put together this quick tutorial that will show you how to construct the perfect beginner's viking hall, which any wanderer would be envious of. Before we get started, however, if you're already full of loot, then find yourself a bit of flat land where you intend to build. Throw down a workbench and a couple of chests to stash your things away in, and get chopping wood. For this build, you will need a minimum of 260 wood, so a couple of visits to the nearby forest to get a few log piles placed near where you want to build, and you'll be all set. Firstly, let's start off with this floor plan and the base of the walls. For this, you'll need 108 wood, which is made up of 50 wood for the walls and 58 wood for the floors. As for the shape of the floor plan, the building is made up of three segments, the middle room being a 5x3 rectangle with the centre tile missing from a much needed campfire, the back room which will become our chest room, which is a 3x3 square area, and the entrance which is a 3x2 rectangle. With our floor plan and walls in place, we can get to work on the roof. Using some 45 degree wood walls, we will build supports which will hold the thatch roofing in place, and then, with a simple 45 degree roof cross, we will close off the front and rear walls of our hall. Next, it's time for the thatch roof to get put in place. It's as simple as using the snapping points of the 45 degree wood walls which we've already put in place, and then using some inverted 45 degree wood walls to close up the gap on each side. Then, we can add some 45 degree roof ridges to close up the roof sections over the entrance and chest room of the hall, again finishing these off with the same roof crosses. It's then as simple as applying the same logic to the larger main room of the hall, throwing up some thatch roof sections, some more 45 degree wood walls, and then closing off the roof with more 45 degree roof ridges but be sure to leave a gap above the centre square of the main room, which will allow us to put a chimney in for our fireplace. Construction of the chimney will begin outside from the roof, with some nifty use of wood poles and our trusty roof ridge. Back inside the base, we will support this chimney top by building up some wood poles from the floor around the campfire. The chimney is then completed by using some wood walls to stop any smoke from collecting in the roof of our Viking hall. We'll then step outside to finish the front entrance with a half wood wall and a door to keep out those pesky graylings. From here it's as simple as placing a handful of 45 degree wood poles to add some aesthetic supports, a couple more roof crosses and some beams to add finishing touches to the windows and hey presto, your viking hall is complete! It's now just a matter of moving your workbench inside your new hall. Adding in some shelves for storage, you should be able to fit 14 boxes comfortably in this build, and then fitting out your hall with some early game crafting tables as you progress.
thanks for watching my tutorial. As you can see, I've made some further additions with a smelting station on one side of the hall, an overhang on the front entrance, and a small farm on the other side of the hall. Your imagination is the only thing limiting what you can do with this to expand this quick and easy starter base in Valheim.